Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Process Live is proud to bring you one of the greatest rappers in the industry today. <laughs> Nasty C! Yeah. Yeah. Give it up, give it up! Why are you going to say that like a Morgan Freeman voice, though? I mean, no, man, that's the last one. I know, that's the last one. It's like we're in the fucking rig. <laughs> Okay, man. Let's go down in SDC, man. Let's start this whole thing, brother. Oh, man. You've been in the game, man. You've been doing your thing. It's been awesome watching you grow. Man, tell us your process, man. Your process has been so strong. Um, well, I was, I, was, I was raised this way, you know. I was raised to be super focused, super humble, respectful, disciplined, be on time, all that type of stuff. Oh, no, you on time! Today, Jeez. before time, actually. <laughs> Jeez, we're, we're supposed to start this thing at eight. <laughs> yeah, man, but we know you got a lot to do. You know you got a lot to do. Yeah. Man, I just want to take it to the real right now, man. Like, I will tell you right now, the first time I heard you, yeah. I was in Durban, actually. It was Dumo who introduced me to your sound, you know? Yeah. And we were listening to Pride City. And I was like, God damn. <laughs> who are you for? Durban is here. Durban is here. You know? Um, Tell us about that, about Tri City, man. Like, what was going through in your head with that? Um, Tri City, I was, I was an emo team, <laughs> right? right? So I'm going through all these type, different types of stuff. It's like I'm learning more about how how cool and vicious everyone else is outside yeah. of my home. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm, I'm outside of home and away from home a lot of time. Uh, relationships. Mm. You know, peer pressure, I'm learning new different things, I'm trying things out. Because when you're in high school, that's when you really start, you know, growing. Right. So, with, with all of that, that was like content every single day. I should sure. always experience something, see something, hear something, be a mm -hmm. part of something that I can flip into like a song, you know, because it's like, a, it's a part of my story. Yeah. You know? So, like, did you, have a, did you have a plan? Did you know that this shit's gonna blow up or were you just... I was hoping. <laughs> right. I was hoping it was gonna blow up. I right. don't know. I don't know. So what right. was the process? So now you go to Price City, and then now it's bad hair next. Yeah. Okay. So please walk us through the process. Like, what is your process in terms of actually just the whole writing process? Where do you start? Do you just wake up and it's like something just comes to you like an epiphany, mm. or is it just? You like, know what is it? What's your process? You know what's crazy? Sometimes I, I have a dream about making a, a certain song, mm. and that song like blows up. And then when I wake up, obviously I can't remember what the song sounded like in the gym, yeah. but I try to like, you know, work on the content. Yeah. And then right. I do that. Um, right. Random lines might come to me when I'm like on a flight, in the car, driving somewhere. I might be in the shower. I don't be taking yeah. shit. Okay. They can say that not okay. Now speaking of relationships, man, like you're telling some of your tracks or like on relationships and stuff like that. It just went on quiet for a minute. You know, quiet. Now I've seen you, man. I've seen you post stuff on Instagram. Yeah. I've seen them girls, man. They 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 throw themselves at you. Can I be with you <laughs> wherever you go with these girls, bruh? Like there's so many. And they just throw themselves at you. What, what do you do? How do you handle that, bruh? I know how to handle that now. At first it was like it was it was a lot. I won't even lie to you. you yeah. Know? I fall for certain traps. But now it's been a minute now. I know I know how to handle it. So you, are you saying now there's 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 you know there's threesomes that are happening? In the room, that's you just done. said I'm in a relationship. Why, why oh, you in a relationship? Right? Yes. You with who? <laughs> with my 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 high school girlfriend from grade ten, bro. Grade ten. That's yeah. deep. How are you keeping that long? How are you, how are you keeping it? So I'm a real long? person. I'm a genuine dude. You telling me there's no slide? Are okay. you not sliding in there? No, no, no. I'm not. I won't lie. To you. Ah! <laughs> Go play with me. That's why I said I fell, I fell for some traps. Right. In the past. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I mean, I, I, like two years ago. Yeah. Two now, years now, ago, now, now, now I'm interested. I hear all this thing. You know, I was still enjoying my my, my superstar. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 But then I, I don't know. It was like a phase. Detail. Like detail. 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 Yeah. Man, like I was, I was, I was actually trying listening. to break me up with my girls. Well, just, <laughs> <laughs> I know your girls. Yeah. Listen, girl. It's 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 just about the process. It's the past. That's not about that. Like, I wanna know. I wanna know about these threesomes. I wanna know. Right, right. I wanna be there. <laughs> Come on, I know you wanna be there. <laughs> Damn. Like, nigga, you've been wanting to be there. Like, let me drink. Let me have a drink. <laughs> and yeah, just, man, and yeah. just to take it back now, just to take it back a bit, because yeah. there's something you post because I follow you. I'm not dick riding. 
<laughs> Let me make that clear. I am not dick riding you. There won't be no dick riding you, <laughs> sir. No! <laughs> so I just... just think, I love what you do. Thank you. Honestly. Thank from my heart, I love what you do. I, I love your sound. Because sometimes you, your sound, you sound like a guitar when you rap. Is everyone told you that? You sound like a guitar. Strings, right? Yeah, you sound like a guitar. Yeah. So when you, when you come in there, uh, you said something about your pops that... Because when I, there's a trick that I heard in the past, one of your mixtapes, yeah. your pops didn't believe in this. Right. And then now he's at your concert and he's bawling the fuck out. Yeah. What the fuck was that like? That's fucking weird. Bro, it's, it's one of those magical moments. You know, I felt like, I actually felt like crying too. He told me he felt like crying when I performed um, my, the check that I made for, for my mother. Man, yeah. man. Yeah, he, yeah. Told, me, he right. told me he almost cried on stage. And he was just like telling me how proud he is. Yeah. Of me, you know? And growing up, I wasn't I wasn't the best out of the bunch. Like in terms of like schoolwork, mm -hmm. behaving, I used to cuss a lot. I used to just No, you like, can cuss yet. It's fine. Home. You can do that. <laughs> it's fine. See you that? Know, yeah. The nigga's got brands yeah. going on, man. He can't just say nothing. You know, hearing, <laughs> hearing, hearing my pop say say that he's proud of me wasn't like it's not something mm. that I've been hearing. So it's something that really means a lot. Like, yeah, and yeah. Black, men, black, black men don't get that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. We could be at a club. We could be at a club. And if right. he whispers, I'm proud of you, I will hear it. Mm. And everything will That's amazing, amazing, bro. So basically, there are no feelings of resentment that I held from how oh, no. it felt then no, to how no. it is now. So there's a thing of, let me prove that I can actually make this thing happen going forward. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm. right? And when I, when, I, when right. I was making Price City, I was obviously young, mm. naive. So I didn't understand that he was just like being a father. Yeah, father for sure. Like, you know? But now I understand. Man, just speaking about strings, right? Yeah. That evolution, bro. That's amazing. I mean, when I'm listening to your album right now, I'm so mature. Um, you know, now we came from the '90s era. Yeah. You know, so it's all about lyrical content. Yeah. For sure. You know, um, but shit started changing, mm. right? Uh, and then now uh, with strings and blings, I listen to it and I and I hear different genres put together in a sense where whereby you just somehow connect people from different walks of life mm. uh, to one concert you know we're going to get to that in a bit um to to one album to one room to listen to that you know it's it's, it's bigger than hip-hop in a sense you know mm. how has that helped you in terms of your growth and your evolution with music how did you find that that opportunity to be like, I'm gonna make everybody listen to this, not just rapidly rap niggas mm, yeah. or whatever it is, you know, I'm just gonna make everybody be in one concert and actually relate. Um, I think it was just me growing as a person, mm -hmm. you know, as, as Mutik, I'm not even as, as nasty as Mutik, yeah. just yeah. learning more about myself, more about the world, just trying new different things. I read a lot now. Mm. Um, visiting a whole lot of different countries so I'm getting to, to mingle with the people and be a part of different types of cultures. Mm, you know, right. places that I never thought I'd be, but I get to be there. So it's just like me being wiser. And then obviously with that comes like different tastes of music. So now, yeah. so now I'm listening to like Elton John, Johnny right. Cash. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Right. I'm right. listening to I'm serious, I'm listening to Uzon yeah. you know? Like I would I wouldn't I wouldn't listen to that type of music like Mm. Four years right. Bro, how, right. do you, how do you keep it together, man? Like, how do you keep it together? Because you're probably one of the most hardest working uh, people we know. We, we hardly ever see other clubs. We hardly ever see other clubs. We hardly ever see any bad stories about you. you. You're not in trouble, you know? How do you keep it grounded? How do you keep the humility? How do you, how do you just focus your, your center to what is it, the sweet spot, bro? Like, how does that work? Part of it is because of how I was raised. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of it is I have a goal, you yeah. know? Yeah. Right. And I'm not going to slow down until I get there. Talk right. about that goal. Talk about that goal. Um, what's in that bag? What's, what's, what's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> yes. Why Boise? Because she's cool as hell. Beside her ass. Because she's got a nice ass. <laughs> no, not like you just translated what I said right now. <laughs> <laughs> cool about it, right? She's cool. You've answered no, my question. No, besides, besides that, I got to hang out with Boise like a lot, you know, and, and really see what type of person she is. She's smart as hell. She recommended some of the books I'm reading, the programs I'm doing, like the exercises, just clearing your mind type shit. You she's also on that type of With her? No. Oh, oh man, this, oh, he's, he's a, a lady, lady man. man. He's got a lady, no. man. 
I got some exercise with her. Speaking, speaking about my dad, what's that? Yeah, Torax Records, man. Yes, sir. Okay, now, I'm just gonna take this back. Like, we, we, we know about the stories about people blocking artists. We know how about how it is that with labels. There's one guy who wants to be the main guy, you know? Right. Especially if you're still an artist yourself. If you're still an artist, yeah. it happens that, I mean, I'm gonna name like, people like Jay-Z, for example. You know, we've, we've had conversations with them with guys blocking other guys from being greater. Yeah. Now, you have your own record label, and I'm assuming that, well, in fact, let me ask you, are you eventually gonna end up signing yourself to your own label? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's the so then, and then, and then um, how now are you gonna be able to to differentiate, to make sure that all the other artists within the label, because I'm, I'm assuming that's not only really Rooney that you're going to be signing. Yeah, I don't, I just don't get in their way. Mm. I, I sign them because I see potential in them and I feel like I can help. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. It doesn't matter if they get bigger than me. If they get bigger than me, then I've, I've accomplished my goal and got yeah. like a bonus. Yes. Yeah. I created a superstar. Mm. So, so, Nick, yeah. so what, is, is, is Boise like your Nicki Minaj? Right so, now? I, so I hope he gets to that. <laughs> Yo, she's got some fire tracks though. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, I'm not even playing. Like, okay. songs are Also, you guys are working on some more shit? When she dropped that song, we had three already. Now oh, we're so we going back. Yeah. So so when, when, when can we expect that drop? Bro? I don't know. She might be dropping like a project or something. That's dope. Or might just drop a couple more. That's dope. Tracks. Like, for me, man, like, you know what I like about this? Uh, the Torax, man. It's like, you're the first. At least a, a nigga younger than me that's actually like, I'm going to empower motherfuckers. Mm. I'm gonna empower motherfuckers to be like, you know what, let's keep this shit going. And uh, was that actually part of the part of the whole plan from from Price City? Or is that something that you guys felt like, okay, we got a leash here, let's manipulate it? Yeah, you know, um, you said you remember me from when I used to work with um, Zion. Yeah, 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 East Coast Radio. He, you were actually my first ever, ever interview when I was on East Coast Radio, bro. Ever, 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 ever. Do you, do you remember? <laughs> No, I don't. Does he remember? He doesn't. I wouldn't. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Can I tell you something? At that time, bro, like I had like a mohawk. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I mean, you don't remember your wife. You got a fucking mohawk. Like, like, I thought we had a connection. Let me be honest. I would not. I would say, no, I don't remember you, nigga. Who are you? So what you say? Do the Yeah, let's go. Anyway. Um, since since those days, like I've always wanted to, to have like a stable where, where I help like people that I feel like have potential. And since then I've been I've been working on Roleen, Eric Rush, wow. Tillerman, like Dave and David, I brought him up to Joburg and he stayed in my house. I like, love that you bring him to years. I love that. I yeah, love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love so that. that's always been that's always been what I what I wanted to do. That's amazing bro. Uh, tell me tell me about your brother man. Cause like from from how we looking at it from behind, you know what I mean? Um, is he here? Yeah he's here right now. Wait, I am the network. He's over, yeah. Uh, Where's his uh, mother? That's his, his brother. Yo, wait. Pastor. Give it up. Yeah, that's what brothers do. That's what yeah, brothers do. I know he doesn't like. He doesn't like oh, to be they up in with his dancing in the video. We just all out in there. I'm gonna talk to him about his. But like, I mean, what I want to raise up is like, um, from what we seeing as artists, your management is so fucking tight, bro. Dude. You know what I mean? And that's a big part of, of what you got. Like, you know what I mean? Without Ayanda, like, I can imagine how motherfuckers will be trying to pull you, trying to get a piece of that pie of who you are. Um, tell me how that journey has been. Just working and keeping it in the family, you know what I mean? Like, how it's been, you know, it's been a blessing, man, because from, from the situation that I was in before my brother, I thought I thought it was good. I thought I thought everything was going well, but then like I started getting complaints from people, mm. people that I was supposed to have nice relationships with. Yeah. Right. Like like our relationship would be ruined if this was like three years ago because of who I was working with. For real? Yeah. Like, we would be best friends. We wouldn't. Are we allowed to name drop? Are we allowed to name drop? No, no, don't don't do that. Ah. <laughs> don't do that. No, so, so young, 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 young key, puffies. So, so you know what I'm saying? That was that was the time before. Before? Yeah. So that, that's, why, that's, why, that's why. I, that's why I got ah, my brother. Listen to the story. This is. That's why I got my brother involved. You know, somebody yeah. I can trust, somebody I know, will take care of me before the artist side of me. Somebody will make sure I'm good mentally because I'm his little brother. Yeah. If right. he doesn't, Puff is gonna kill him. Right. Right. Because here's the thing. I mean, you like get lost in this shit. I mean, we were talking about like Stumo's asking, don't you get lost when all these uh. Mummies and throwing yourself at you, but yeah. like because you have a true sense of self, yeah. 
and it comes from home. Um, that's important, and we can see all of that right here, man. Um, I'm gonna get to you lifting the flag up uh, for South Africa, man. Dude, that's crazy, that's crazy dude. Man. Like, we this see that, and we're like, shit, man. Like, this is where the future's going, that's right? And uh, I just want to get to to the Iverson tour, right? Um, you doing that tomorrow? Yes. Oh. Me too. <laughs> motherfuckers, you ready though? Okay. Motherfuckers, are you ready for the Iverson tour? What the fuck? Who am I speaking to? Yeah. Are we ready for the Iverson tour? <laughs> Clearly, no one is getting yes, tickets. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's gonna get these tickets. They're not ready, bro. Cause here's the thing, man. Like, you, you're about to do history, son. You know, um, you've already opened the doors, man. And like. Let's speak about that. Like, how long have you been premeditating this event that's coming tomorrow, bro? It's here. We all waiting for it. It's been it's been a long time. So it's been like a dream of mine to have an event that's not like I'm not selfish with it. It's not just like just nasty see and maybe one open. Right. Yeah. I can throw in whoever I want to throw in there. Signed, not signed, hated, loved. Big, not big, buzz, no buzz. Yeah. If I feel someone has potential, I can put them out there, and and I've, I've done my bit by like giving back. I've got bars. You know that? I've got like. Come on, now. Nah, nah, nah. Come on, now. Nah. Drop something. All right, DJ us. Do some bars for us. Apparently, <laughs> I want to battle. I want to battle Ness to see right now, oh. and I want to kill him. Oh wait, wait, wait. Speak about that. Like I, I saw you got a twin going on right there. <laughs> Yo. Oh man, that's mad love though. You know I got, you know I got raps now. Oh, for real? He raps now, yeah. He raps. He's charging niggas for features and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh man, that's fucking amazing. So okay, so you got Joburg now, and then what's next? Joburg, I have Bloom, I have Namibia, and then K-Town for this year. Oh, nice. And then next year, we start doing it even better. Like, right. Other Africa, Africa. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah man, I was in London too and I did a show and I got such a nice shock man. I didn't I didn't expect people to know me mm. and my music out there. I thought I was gonna be introducing myself to a crowd. Mm. And when I went out there it was fucking insane. I felt like I was at sumo. Right. Um, so I'm definitely gonna do like I, I felt like that in Bloomfontein. Were you I know it's not like Zambia but in Bloomfontein I felt the same way. My like God. I got so much love Bro. from two people. <laughs> just to be, just to be. <laughs> but the love I got was real. Okay, it's not the same. Actually, speaking about love, speaking about love, man, what's the craziest thing that um, like one of your fans or something has ever done? Like some some crazy story, something that you were like, what in the fuck just happened? Um, out of love, out of love. No, out of out of lust. <laughs> stole stole my clothes. What? Of real? How? <laughs> you know, how? Like off, off your back or on no, your washing no, no. line? Like, what I had the thing? same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you. I had the same thing, but it was my boy. Who dog off. Stop he steals uh, my clothes this, all the time. Yeah, this is a girl. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah, so what happened? Yeah, I, I had a house party. I had a house party at the house. <laughs> yeah. And then, right. and then afterwards, right. like everyone's just doing their own thing. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. And I guess he started like roaming off to like the other rooms and whatnot. The rooms were locked actually, but there was like there's like an outside closet that the the healthy lady she puts the, all the clothes there after washing them so that uh -huh. so that she doesn't mix them up and send like the wrong stuff to the wrong room. So we had to pick them up there ourselves, right? Uh -huh. This girl just went there and just went shopping. <laughs> <laughs> she was for the And you got that red flag? You got that red You got a puma going on like shit. Not, she was not, not only not only was it clothes in the bag, she was wearing a full on outfit. Like of my clothes. So what? You let it oh, wait, excuse me, what? Was it I just you? Was it you? Great girl. Was, was that it you? you? What just? What? Was that her? Jeez. No, that's not her. That doesn't look like it was. Are you bringing these girls here? Yeah. We we're just, we're just checking. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Oh, uh, that's amazing, man. And you got your own label. And the house that goes. That's not amazing. What do you mean that's amazing? It is. It is. It is amazing. My boy steals my clothes. You have some random girls. That's you. love, though, bro. Trying to look like you. Some nigga wants to look like you for him to sell some tickets right now. That's dope. You know what I mean? That's dope. It's some real shit. I mean, you were in London, my are feeling your music, bro. Yeah, man. Um, were you doing like an African tour? Were you doing that uh, shit? Yeah, yeah, I was. But it wasn't part of the Iverson tour. I was just, it was just booking. It was booking. Right. 
Right. Now, 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 to go to some serious, serious issues right now. As you can see, on, like, on social media, you know, men are trash, men are trash, men are trash. Yeah. I'm trash. I'm trash, yeah, I'm trash. You know, for you, what has been the trashiest album this year of these artists? <laughs> <laughs> Albums are trash. Say it! Say it! I know, I will say it, I'm thinking. <laughs> no disrespect. No, no! But um, I feel like my girl Fifi could have done so much better. Oh. No disrespect. No, that's not a no. That's not a no. But why? Why do you think she could have done better though? Because we've heard her other songs. Yeah. Right. And we, we, we know. You know, and obviously because everything that happens. Is it a label thing, or is just it, it becomes an individual no, choice so. to do what? To excel, to drop the ball. I think it's like it's pressure. It's pressure that you get from people, man. Because that whole situation where her kind of blew up and everyone knows about it now, so everyone is looking at her like exactly. Oh, yes. and that type of pressure. Yeah, not everyone can handle that type of pressure, you know. Yeah. But she could use that to fuel herself. For sure. You know? And so, I think she can too, she just has to go back in there. And you fueled yourself, yeah. I think, with the most dumbest beef I've ever seen. <laughs> sorry, my link. Yeah. Man, that, was was even, that wasn't even beef. <laughs> that wasn't beef. He was, he, was, he, was, um, he was trolling me, and he had a single coming out. Let, let, junior, so junior, I knew, junior, junior, junior. and I just did the same thing to him. Junior. Right. That, 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 that's a man. Oh, that's a father. Oh, no, we're good. You good now? We, nah, we, nah. we were never like really mad at each other. Look, to be honest, honest with you, know, we see, said all that shit on radio, Twitter, yeah. and then when we met at the show, we just cracked up. Like, we ah. both just cracked up. Was Reggie putting in the work with my brother Lewis on yeah. that move? Were they putting in the work? Yeah. I know Reggie, I know Reggie was. Yeah. I know Reggie was. So what happened then? What, what, what was the deal? Like, I don't know, that's like in label politics. Ah. Like, amongst staff and stuff. I don't know. Not with you. I don't think artists even know. None of the artists know what happened. No, we don't. Right. The public. So where did you find out? How did you find out? Was the email to be like, okay, nice, this is, you terminate your contract, or did you just decide that? Oh, no. Leaving? My, oh, my contract was wasn't terminated, sir. Oh, so what happened? I feel, like Ayanda, I feel like Ayanda got it, and it was like, fuck it, man, we gotta move right here real quick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> who, who got the bag? <laughs> who got the bag? We moving. Yeah, but like, you know what it is. You know what it yeah. is. If, if you've ever seen Reggie's interviews, right, where he's talking about like the label and what he wants to do, notice how he always says he's trying to build an African superstar. For sure. Right? right. Reggie never said, I want to make Nasty C the biggest in South Africa. I want to yeah. make Ricky the... He, he doesn't think small. He's thinking like big picture type shit. Right. And he's always talking about how that one superstar will open the gates for everyone else. Right. He's not thinking he's ANC. Not looking for, he's not thinking ANC. Hey, man. I don't know anything. Yeah. He's, he's not a politician, right? right? He's a, he's a musician. He's an no, artist. No. I'm saying. No, no, no. It's, it's because Reggie, Reggie's really like trying to take the SA hip hop game, or just music game, and take it to like the next level, right? And and when he realized that the people that he was working with couldn't deliver that for me, he he let me go. He told me, you could go okay. Okay. And, and UMG was already like servicing my music anyways. They were doing distribution and that, and that type of shit. So we were already cool. I had already know, I already knew the people at the office, at the universal office. Yeah. Like they were already working on my stuff anyways. Mm. So it was like a smooth transition. Right after, he was like, okay, cool. So it was not a little Wayne type of uh, setup, right? <laughs> like a Birdman, Lil no Wayne, no, 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 no. Right. I mean, I mean, despite all of that <laughs> shit, man. I mean, what makes you, what makes it so great, is that you're doing better than you ever done. You know what I mean? Yeah. You let and that, you let it fuel you. You don't let it break you. What's right. next? What's next, bro? Cause um, it doesn't matter. What's next? What, what's see, next? Coming up, bro. Next year when we, when we do another one of these. Yes, yeah, so much to catch up on. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you said I'm about to give so many niggas in the game like I hit it. We support that cause. We support that cause. Like you said.